Did you do you guys reorder it much from the the final script to the to the final? Right, I've I've actually been through the film, Ferg, and I'm just going to read out one bit of it. Okay. <laughs> Starting with scene twenty six. Here are the here are the scene numbers: 26, 27, 28, 29 is cut, forty two, thirty, thirty one, thirty four, thirty five, thirty seven, forty is cut, forty one, forty seven, forty nine, ninety. 31, 50, 51, 52, 58, 59, 43. Okay, 50. okay. <laughs> we get the idea. That's quite jumbled. That's quite interesting. I, Because I, I would have answered that question by saying, we didn't change it very much. <laughs> <laughs> but we really changed it quite a lot. The middle section, because... The middle, the middle section was very difficult because... Um, it's, it's like the, the film has a very odd structure, as I said before. It, it, you know, it's got a very short, very simple, quite conventional act one. If you say that act one ends when, um, after Jody goes to see um, Mohamedou for the very first time in the prison. So that was always what I thought, that's the end of act one. Call this number, speak to my mother. Tell her, I don't know, something nice. And then act two begins with, Benedict Cumberbatch's character sort of launching his investigations. We are seeking the death penalty, but if we miss something, this guy goes okay. home. But that meant that basically you had a sh act one, which was like 25 minutes, an act two that was like an hour and 15, and an act three, which was half an hour. Where I'm from in Mauritania, we know not to trust the police, but never did I believe that the United States of America would use fear and terror to control. It's an interesting thing that I've wonder about these days is about whether or not the traditional three act structure really applies anymore yeah. to films and in a way obviously it's a curse the three act structure it's kind of like you're locked into this kind of um you know you have to abide by it in traditional film terms but i think with the advent of great tv maybe people are used to audiences are used to sort of going all over the place and going from this point of view to that point of view and having a subplot here and and I think we, certainly I felt when we were cutting the film that we could be a little le less strict with our structure than normally and that actually audiences would go with that. Whether or not they do or will, I don't know, but it certainly doesn't abide as strictly by the sort of, the, the sort of you know, the rules of making a, a feature in three acts that, as, mm -hmm. as, as most of the films have done. It's a witness. Mr. Slahi, would you please raise your right hand and repeat after me? 